from Clarkston, Michigan, the greatest city in the world. It's the Jose Aliaga Show. Jose Aliaga knows everyone. Get to know him as he interviews some of the most fascinating people from the greater Independence Township area. And now, broadcasting from the studios at Clarkston High School, the home of the state champion wolves, here's Jose Aliaga. Hello everyone, welcome to the Jose Aliaga Show. Today I have a special guest, Monica Drake. She worked for Orkland Press and she was part of the Dancing with the Stars for um, Free and Action in Orkland County and she hoped to raise a lot of money for the seniors in Orkland County. And today I have the honor and privilege to have Monica here and she's gonna tell us more about her. So how are you doing, Monica? Great, it's great to be here, Jose. And it's weird to be on the other side of the interview. Usually I'm used to interviewing people, so it's kind of weird to be <laughs> on the other side of it. But thank you for having me. Absolutely, absolutely. And you know, probably people want to know more about you and more about what happened in Dancing with the Stars. Mm -hmm. You know, I saw your page on Facebook and Twitter that a lot of people were spending to see what happened in Dancing with the Stars. So I have a few questions for you. <laughs> The first one is, I know that you haven't danced since you were in middle school, so taking part in Dancing with the Stars was out of your comfort level. Can you tell me what was like, what it was like, you know, dancing the, you know? It was definitely nerve wracking. I haven't danced since fifth or sixth grade. So it was and it's nothing like uh, ballroom dancing. It was ballet. So <laughs> it was it was definitely different. And I haven't had much dancing experience. You know that some of the other uh, dancers had experience like you. You had more experience <laughs> than me. <laughs> and he had two partners at one point. So <laughs> that was a surprise when he took two people out into the dance floor. Um, so yeah, I haven't really had experience. Um, the winner was Ashley Barracy from Channel 4, and mm -hmm. she was part of the U of M dance team. So I couldn't compete with that. But I think I did pretty good for <laughs> not, not dancing in like 15 years. No, you did really, really well. I, I saw you having practiced with someone from a um, studio, right? It was involved. Mm -hmm. That was. Um, yeah, we went to the same studio, so I saw him, and I was like, oh gosh, my competition. <laughs> it was uh, Ar Arthur Murray, right? Yeah, yeah Arthur yeah, Murray. Yes, yeah, Arthur Murray. Yeah, it was, no, but you did really well, and I like your Thanks. dress. I was a uh, yellow dress. It's, yeah, I had a yellow uh, dress. Uh, I've never felt so naked in front of so many people before. <laughs> it was how many people? Like 400 people, right? Yeah, it was, yeah, it was about 400. That's what they said, right? Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. It was several people. I saw people were talking about it, and I was in Channel 2 channel four mm -hmm. and channel seven and so like wow they have a good promotion here yeah and uh, the good thing is it was to help the seniors in Orkland County I think that was uh, I, I think after all the, the cause was what uh, it matters you know yeah Helping. yeah that's why I really wanted to do it because it's an important cause faith in action is yeah they did a great job with the promotion I think mm -hmm. yeah well I see Monica there and you were right seeing what was your style Oh, it was a rumba. Oh, rumba. Yeah. Oh, wow. I did All About That Bass by Megan Trainer. That was a song I did. So I had a lot to do with like a lot of butt shakes. <laughs> <laughs> and how long it takes to, to be ready for this competition? I mean, for rumba. Um, it was about, I practiced about once a week for two or three months. It was oh, about, wow. yeah, so I practiced a lot. I was really nervous. I was too. <laughs> I was very nervous. I didn't have a from several people, that, you know, like, oh, mm -hmm. yeah. And what the judge, the judges did say to you when I, I don't remember. Al Brooks Patterson said, I wasn't watching your feet. I was watching the <laughs> rest of you. <laughs> As I remember that. That's what he said to me. Oh, Bruce. <laughs> And um, the, uh, one of the other judges said, uh, you've sure grown up since sixth grade. <laughs> <laughs> the last time I danced. <laughs> <laughs> so the newspaper industry has changed a lot in the last decade. Can you tell me what is your job is like now? Uh, yeah, so um, 
I mean, I've, I've been in the newspaper. I've worked for the Oakland Press for about four years now. Um, so I, I grew up reading the Oakland Press when I was little, and it was very print-focused when I was growing up. Mm -hmm. um, but now uh, the print circulation has decreased because not as many people get the print paper delivered to them anymore. Uh, mm -hmm. not, but our uh, website has the, it's dramatically increased the page views. Oh, I see. So we have, with my new position, I just got this position a couple years ago, community engagement editor, mm -hmm. instead of a reporter. So I do a lot of the social media and web stuff. So I get to see firsthand how much uh, the newspaper has changed because I have to put stuff up online right away. So that's the biggest difference is before you would have like 24 hours to cover the news because it would go out and print the next day. Mm -hmm. And now you have to get it out right away. So as soon as it happens, you have to type it up really fast and get it online. Oh, so see. that's the biggest difference. And we have more components. We want to make it more um, like user friendly, more engaging to people. So like just a couple weeks ago, we started putting quizzes on our website mm -hmm. to get people to come back and have it more engaging with others. Mm -hmm. So that's mainly how it's changed. And I see you also increase, you have more followers on Facebook and Twitter. Mm -hmm. I assume you guys using also. Yeah, we have about 15,000 followers on, on Facebook, so. Oh, wow. Yeah. Quite a lot. <laughs> yeah. Quite a lot. So what are the most difficult articles that you had, had, had to write? Um, well, I, I've written a lot about youth deaths, by, like tragic deaths. Mm -hmm. And so those have definitely been the hardest, especially when you have to go to white pages and look up the parents of a kid who's died mm -hmm. and say, like, I know you don't know me. Are you the right <laughs> person? You know, it's uh -huh. really difficult. Mm -hmm. um, so my, my boss says I'm one of the least cynical people, <laughs> reporters. <laughs> so mm -hmm. usually I'm the one who has to write the, the death stories. I wrote a whole series of stories about suicides in high schools within Oxford, Lake Orion, and Clarkston schools. Um, so I wrote a lot about that because I thought it was an important thing to get out. A lot of people don't want to talk about it because they think that if you talk about it, then it's more likely to happen. And I don't think that's true. I feel like if you don't know that there's help out there, then you're not going to know that you're not alone. So I thought that was a really important subject to talk about. So I've written a lot of stories about that. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. I, I didn't know that. I, yeah. I, I, yeah. That's a little bit sad to know that that's yeah. where I am. That is, are we doing something to prevent that as a community, you know? Yes, yes. A lot of the schools are have started doing po bully prevention programs mm -hmm. to, try to, to try to get people not to bully. Um, I've gone to seminars that the schools have had um, where they, they bring in people and uh, there was one at Oxford schools actually mm -hmm. where um, there was these bully prevention people who came in and asked the students how many of you have been bullied and how many of you have been made fun of and almost everybody in the whole school walked forward and said that they have and I think it was uh, surprising to people to know like I don't know you but I know now that you're going through the same things as I am so I think that's important I know like all the schools now have something like that in place since it's been about three years there's been an increase in suicides and I know the schools are doing something, have been doing stuff to to help prevent that. Yeah, that's important. I mm -hmm. think prevention always help. Mm -hmm. It's sad that, but probably it's really, really sad that that's happening, you know, in the community in Oakland County. Mm -hmm. uh, well, um, Monica, thank you. Thank you so much for uh, for came here and, and share with us part of what's going on in Oakland County and I know you are very successful every time <laughs> I go to Facebook or something and see Monica is doing this and mm -hmm. and that's very important what you do and work for the community and work with that community with Oakland Press um, and then uh, well uh, thank you for the work you do uh, is anything else that you want to say before we we close today the show um, we'll visit our website. We have uh, a website. It's www.theoaklandpress.com. So that's where you can see all of our news stories. Um, so go to that website. <laughs> I'd appreciate <laughs> it. And you can also follow me on Twitter. It's at Monica underscore Adele. Good. Very good. Very good. Well, thank you all of you. And and uh, I have just have to say goodbye today. That's the end of the show. But I'll see you probably in the next uh, next time. Thank you so much and God bless you.